an outside gate in the first race of the night could prove to be quite a challenge, Chris. Yeah, it'll be tough from there, and none of these guys, there's no local, local knowledge. It's a new track every year. It's all fresh. They all start from the beginning. Green lights on for the only race of the night. Saints up sharpish. Away they go. What a start from Lambert. He's come roaring across from the outside. Absolutely textbook stuff from him. Cabrera's coming through in a second place. Watch now. Now coming on strong in third place. Masai Yanoski out the back. But that was something special for Robert Lambert, and he's flying away out in front. Robert Lambert clearing off in the first race. The Polish boys are all having a scrap for the minor placings here. Cabrera's probably got it. Looks like that mid-track line is the place to be. But here we go. Crowd on their ring. Loving that. Robert Lambert. Well, Tom draw struck and hit number one. But I wouldn't put past Tom Brennan if he can if he can ride the bike, not the event. He'll have a good night. Hit number four. Like Sean takes the rush. Run the way. The German. Look at me. Hicks the front going into the first corner. Here comes Beauty roaring around the outside. He's going to have a lot of speed. But the door is shut firmly. Going into turn number three. Beauty oh, now squaring it off. Oh, my goodness. That is just genius. Fabulous. Now, Huckenbeck coming back at him, but Beauty, absolutely inspired move there as they completed the first lap. Frick is in the third place for printing the wild card out the back. But Beauty, for the first time tonight, hits the front. Beauty out in front, got a little bit of breathing space now. Robert Lambert one, heat number one. Dan Beauty's going to round out the first four races. He wins in heat number four. Fans loving it here in the Principality on their feet again. It really is a hectic schedule for the Grand Prix riders in the next six, seven weeks. Here we go then, heat number six. Run away. Great start from Frick. He gets there. No, he doesn't. Because Jack Holder's made a lovely start. Now Lebedev's up the inside. Frick now being relegated to the back. Yanovsky coming around the outside. But Jack Holder, what a response that is from the Australian. Superb start from the outside. Lebedev's is hanging on in second place. But he's now coming under a lot of pressure from Maxa Yanovsky, who's riding out of his skin back in third place. Yeah, Yanovsky's dealt with Max Rick. Now look at that. Beautifully up the inside there. Cut back. Got up the inside of Lebedev's, who's looking to repay the favour. He just doesn't have the speed that Yanovsky's got. Jack Holder out front. Jack Holder, one last corner to go. This is more like it from the Australian. One point first time. Celebrating on the back wheel as he completes a fine victory there. Stunning start from the outside gate. And there was no stopping him. Brilliant ride from Yanoski. Jack's behaving well. But he's getting too out of shape, although Vasil Smarzic certainly looked a little uncomfortable at yeah, times in the previous race. But that uh, is often the case. You know he's working hard. Number eight. The completion of this. Everybody's had a couple of outings. Here we go. Got the clutch, bang on. He fires himself to the front. Mickelson's hustling it through that first corner. Oh, wow. Brennan. Wow, Tom Brennan. That is a moment for him. What a move it is. And Amos got beaten up there on the first lap with Mickelson coming through in the second place. Quebec is at the back. But look at this from Tom Brennan. Mickelson pushing him hard for the wild card. Brennan, he's out in front. Oh, this is great to see Tom Brennan's super opening lap. Just squeezed down the outside of Mickelson right by the fence. And Lambert, of course, Lambert now struggling in third place. Can't make the ground up. Oh, Mickelson's got a lovely cutback. No, he's not there. Tom Brennan still in front. Brennan's out in front. Can he stay there? He's under immense pressure from Mickelson. He's ridden a superb line. Lambert's back in third place with Quebec at the back. One last final corner. He's going to get close. Mickelson's coming. Oh, he denies him. Snatches the win away. Oh, heartbreak for Brennan! Finished third in the national championship recently when Mato Janowski won. Clearly there's been some soul-searching going on in the in the camp. Tough to understand when you've got a 27-point lead in the world championship. Nonetheless, that's what's going on. Heat number nine, we're underway very, very shortly. Underway now. What a great start that is from Jack Holder. He fires himself to the front. Smarslick hustling it around the outside. He's coming on strong. Whoa! Oh, what a move from Smarslick. Oh, freshly prepared track. That doesn't stop him. That's more like it from the world champion. Now Jack Holder back in second place. 
Kibera's elected to go wide with Tom Vera Brennan out the back. But Smarslik hits the front for the first time tonight. Smarslik cutting back to the inside to make sure that Jack Holder has no options. And pass to Smarslik. Wins for the first time in the Principality tonight. He's on the five points. All of a sudden, he's looking a little bit more comfortable. Red hot race here, Chris. Uh, red hot, yeah, and Dan Buehler will be kicking himself. The third place, of course, coming from the inside gate, which has been pretty consistently good tonight. So now he's got to do the work from gate two. Lambert show him in that very race just how to do it. Indeed he did. Here we go. In number 14, smashing lineup for you. Night comes on. Motors are revving. Oh, beauty missed it. Try to anticipate. Missed out. Minovsky fires himself to the front. Beauty still there in second place. Bartos Smarslik back in third. Maxey Janowski. What a return to form. This is the highest level. Here comes Smarslik with Beauty running wide. But Beauty's there electing once again to go very, very wide. Leaving the door wide open to Oh, the clash going down the back straight. Smarslik coming on strong again. Beauty just about recovering. Whoa, it really is tough racing for second and third. Maxey Janowski. Poor start to the night, but wow, has he turned it around? He's in top form tonight. The world champion's still struggling. He's having to work overtime out there. Holder, ruthless last time in a chaotic race. I possibly will want to calm a race if he can, but uh, with the lineup, it might not be the case. He might not get his wish. Here we go then, heat number 19. Thanks for us. This has played a good start at gate number two. That bike really did lurch to the first corner. Here comes Jack Holder around the outside. Beauty's at the back. Got work to do. Nicholson's electing to go wide with Holder around the inside. Nicholson once again, the Danish rider, out in front. Going along really nicely indeed. Look at Beauty. Stratton his stuff out the back. He's got to work hard. Can he find a way past Wozniak? Nicholson. Lifting a bit there down the back straight, but holds it all together. Jack Holder with a solid second place. Disappointment for Beauty. Nicholson wins in style in heat number 19. A rider in top form. Revitalized rider. Some soul searching in the last couple of seasons. There's no doubt about that. Bartos Smarslik. And Martin Baselik on six points here. Got to win. Got to win. have to win. This is tense times. Last year's winner on the inside. A previous winner. Bartos Smarzik, the championship leader. What's going to happen in heat number 20? We're about to find out. Takes her up. Bassett's made a lovely start. He's there on the inside. Here comes Frick. Well, Frick's done nothing all night. He finds himself in front. Smarzik comes roaring up the inside. He's trying to get the better of his former teammate, but he's still in the third place. Bassett's coming around the outside. He knows how desperate it is. Smarzik's in the thick of the action. Still having to work overtime. The spoiler in the pack here is Frick. He's come from nowhere and found himself in front. Yeah, Frick really uh, doing the business out front. Oh, here comes Martin Baselik. If he'd have timed that cut back right, he may have got up the inside. But now Robert Lambert puts Smarzik under pressure at the back. Smarzik needs more than this. And so does Martin Baselik. Round the outside, Max Frick making it work hard. Oh, bravery there from Martin Baselik. Had to keep the throttle wound on. And it's proven to be. Would it be enough? The winner last year, 12 months ago, stunning ride in heat number 20. That could just be enough. Smarslik's night, he's done. And that's a shock. Here we go, Riders coming forward now. Massive race this, tense times. We've had to wait very patiently for it as well. Here we go then, three nights on. Nicholas made a lovely start on the inside. He's got there. Lambert's there alongside and round the outside is Mikkel Mickelson. Hasn't quite worked from gate number four for him. Riders on the inside two gates with a freshly prepared track. They fired themselves to the front. Mickelson working hard. Astrid has gone to the back. But Freddie Lingwin didn't miss out there. He's lifted there. He's hanging on to the motorbike. Lambert is lurking in second place. But Chris, those inside gates working well. Lambert looking very, very threatening in second place. One last blast down the back straight. Now Lambert electing to come to the inside. This is going to get awfully close. Lambert stolen it. Fantastic. With this crowd on their feet again. Thing was through. But what a stunning last corner from Robert Lambert. Here we go. Second semi-final. 
Jackson's going to join Lambert and Ingram in the front. Green light is on. Had a lovely start. He fires himself to the front. Holder missed out there. He's at the back, round the outside. Here comes Kubera. Kubera, no real surprise to see him there. But I'll tell you what, very handy place indeed. Lebedev could be very threatening in third place. Muni's away. No mechanical failures. He's going to go into another final. And we know what it's like from then on. Muni's away. He's dominating the second semi final. Fantastic scrap for second and third. Lebedev has really tried all he possibly knows. But Beauty and Lambert, they're going to be in the final! Cracking, that's close for second. I think Kubera is just about held on there. Right, here we go. Just in the nick of time. Final here in the Principality. I do hope you've enjoyed it. What a way to conclude. Beauty's made a lovely start. He gets there. Beauty's part himself to the front. Robert Lambert's right alongside him. Here comes Freddie Lingren in the third place. Doesn't quite get there with Kubera out the out the back, Dan Bewley off the inside gate with a 100% record in finals, fires himself to the front, Robert Lambert pushing on in second place, desperately trying to find a way to the front, but Dan Bewley's away again! Dan Bewley's going to need eyes in the back of his head because Robert Lambert really is riding very, very hard, he looked away from the inside, couldn't find it, Dan Bewley now moving out, that's normally where he rides quick, that's working for him, bike hooking up, is he going to win again here in Cardiff? Looking likely, one lap to go. Looks like it's going to be a British one-two here. Dan Beauty and Robert Lambert clearing off out in front. One last blast. The crowd are on their feet. They carry him home. Beauty wins in the Principality again. Listen to the crowd. Wow. What a finish for the night. Seen a British one-two, Eric Cardiff.